Hi, welcome to updates at AI Late to Class. Tonight I'm going to cover Z Image Turbo's new InPaint and Control Net, Steady Dancer, which is an improved version of WAN Animate, OV 1.1, which is sort of like an open source version of Sora, and Lucy Edit 1.1 for re editing objects in video clips. This video will be a mix of ConfUI and wan 2 gp to solve the common issues of ConfUI for these updates. And if you have a low VRAM GPU with the use of wan 2 gp you should be able to get this AI technology running. Enough talking, let's get into it. If you haven't got ConfUI installed, come down to this video here, best clean ConfUI install, go through the process that'll help you do all the tutorials on my channel. If you haven't got WAN 2GP installed, come and watch the start of this video and that'll walk you through the install process for that. This is the latest version of WAN GP, version 9.81. If you haven't got this version, go to your folder, type git pull, press enter. I'm using WAN 2GP because in ConfUI I've got this error message, model patch loader, local variable model, reference before assignment. There doesn't seem to be a fix for this, it seems to be a problem with the model patches node. So in one 2 gp I've dropped my box down here and chosen Z image and over here I've chosen the control net. If I just wanted to make normal Z images in this I just click turbo and I can just do that. If you don't know anything about Z image turbo go to the tutorial on my channel. Select the type of control from over here. In this case I've used the human pose. Upload your picture here. And type your prompt here, a man wearing a yellow cowboy hat standing on a city bus. And that's what it came out with, pretty good. You can, over here, change your resolution. This time I'm going to change this to canny edges. And I'm going to change my prompt down here to a cartoon woman. And that came out quite well. Now I'm going to drop this down and I'm going to do the depth. And I change my prompt to a woman on a beach. And that's the result. Moving back into ConfUI with Z Image Turbo in painting, this workflow will work without the control net. So with the image uploaded, right click on that, scroll down, and there should be an open and mask editor. And I'm just going to draw a band across the top here. Click save. In the prompt here, I've just written hat made of flowers. Click run. And here's our hat made of flowers, so it's come out pretty good. The next thing I want to look at is Steady Dancer. So if you look at these stills here, and you've got this woman, as she turns back around, her face is the same as it is in frame 1. So this is like one animate, but we had this problem in one animate when the face went out of camera, came back in, it wasn't the same face. So looking back at my channel here, if you haven't had anything to do with one animate, go and check these videos out. Basically, you're putting in an image and then you're putting in a person's movement and making a video mixing the two. Here's a comparison on the website. That's one animate, so it's got image to motion binding. And this one's motion to image alignment. So you can read this and it'll explain all of that. Further down in the gallery, have a look at these samples and see how closely it can get them. Drag Steady Dancer workflow into ConfUI. First of all, we need this WAN 2.1 Steady Dancer FP8 scaled. We need the WAN 2.1 VAE Clip Vision H, a Light X2V. I'm going to have the links in the comments to all of these. And we're going to need a text encoder over here, UMT5. Once we've downloaded those models, the Steady Dancer goes into Fusion models. The Light X2V goes in the LoRa models. The text encoder UMT5 goes in the clip folder. The VAE goes in the VAE folder. And down here we've got our Clip Vision H goes in our Clip Vision folder. You will also need these two models that will be in the comments and put them in the models detection folder. Upload our image here. Underneath we're putting in our video that we want to transfer the motion. So let's just look at that sample. Now look how the camera pulls back and then she runs. So it's not just a motion of her, but it's also going to be the motion of this camera as well. Got to remember that when we look over here, that this is WAN 2.1 and not 2.2. WAN Animate is WAN 2.2. So it's better quality video output. But this has better facial consistency. 
Look at that result there. There's a way better result than one animate would get. Because the background is referencing the input video, we're not getting that background warping that we get with one animate. Next thing I want to talk about is Lucy Edit. This is version 1. Please watch that first. Just for a refresher, this thing just edits video, changes anything you talk about in the video. As you can see here, turn the man into a bear. In ConfUI, using the workflow for Lucy Edit 1.1, I'm using the Q4 GGUF which you can click this link and choose which Q version fits your computer. You can use an FP16 or FP8 if you have a better VRAM. Underneath you'll also need this WAN 2.25B Fast WAN LoRa and the WAN 2.2, not 2.1, VAE and use the same UMT5 text encoder that I used in the other video. So I did the same test I did in version 1 which is changing the jacket colour. Over here just upload your video. Let's have a look at that video there, and then let's look at what it produced. So the jacket looks a bit more real in this one, but there is some warping in the background. Going back to version 1, the jacket's just a little bit less real with colour changes there. And one 2GP, if you want to use Steady Dancer, drop this down, click back to one 2.1, and then bring this down, click on Steady Dancer. You can continue a video, or continue the last video that you made in here. Drop your image here, upload your video, upload your mask there, put your prompt in, click generate. Now if you want to use Lucy Edit, bring this down, click on one 2.2, you'll see that there's Lucy Edit selected there, and down here you've got version 1 or 1.1, and that's using the fast LoRa's. Upload your image here, put your prompt there, what you want to change, click generate. So the last thing I want to show is Ovi, which is sort of like Sora. It does vocal and sound effects and video all in one. This new version 1.1 does 10 second clips. Go there and check out version 1 on my channel and then this clip here. A single 5 second clip can send markets crashing in minutes. So what happens when Ovi gives that chaos 10 seconds? Can anyone protect themselves or do we just grab popcorn and watch it go viral? So the major update with this 1.1 is that it can do 10 second clips. Couldn't get this working in ConfUI, so go to WAN 2GP, click down here, WAN 2.2, and if you look down here, make sure it's on OV10B. I found, see these different versions here, we want the 10 second, and I chose the fast one, I actually got better quality. You have other options here of starting it with an image or continuing a video you've already made, and here's the result. I said I was sorry, and I meant it. It just didn't fit in the five-second version. Now, Ovi gave me 10, and I'm using all of them to be wrong again. Impressive consistency. Would you mind telling me if the director can cut this take? Here's another example I did. The colors are a bit weird, the face sort of morphs a bit, and the video jumps around, but let's just watch it. You can copy the Ronald McDonald costume. It's trademarked. But mine is completely different. Look at the colors and details. It's still too similar, and you know the rules. Just remember when writing these prompts, you've got to start and end tag when you want the person to say something. Hopefully you found these updates useful. Like, subscribe, watch all my old videos, and we'll see you in the next one.